starting off the morning at the Metropolitan Park. It's a rainforest in the middle of the city. These first two acts were easy. People have said you can see like monkeys and sloths and a variety of... I talked to one guy that's staying at the same place as me. He recommended going super early in the morning. He said during the day the animals sleep, but it's 12 p.m. and I want to see the animals, but I ain't waking up early. Here's a peek at downtown Panama City. This is more or less what I saw for animals. This is Robles Trails, which is the most challenging trail in this park. But you got a view of the city. Looks like we're looking out at the... Honestly, it's all in Spanish. Um, this is at the Mirador viewpoint on this hike. You can see Panama City is pretty big. Um, the skyline keeps going beyond, well beyond the trees. Some more of Panama City. Well, uh, it took me about an hour and a hour and 40 minutes to finish hiking all the trails. I went at a fairly brisk pace. I'm not like booking it, but I think for sure faster than like the average uh, person who doesn't do anything physically ever, period. At this point, I thought it'd be interesting to walk back into town by walking through the highway. I think I'm walking on a highway. I'm not quite sure yet. We'll see. This honestly looks like a slide at a water park, but it's for like, I think, rain. So I just stopped by a convenience store owned by a Chinese guy. He's like probably younger than me. He looked like he's in his probably 20s or early 30s. Pretty cool story. His mom and dad actually were born in China um, and they came to Panama for an opportunity. And basically it seemed like they already had, his parents had cousins and they went and worked for them. But his parents met in Panama. They did not meet in China. And they're Hakka, Hakka. That's the same uh, ethno-linguistic Chinese group that you find in the Indian subcontinent. All right, guys, went in uh, Panama, walk into a random barbershop and get a haircut. Let's see. got a haircut. I asked for a Ronaldo haircut. I think I got it. Uh, after tip, it was $12. You know what? I get a cheap haircut at a cheap barber in uh, Seattle, usually. And after tip, that ends up being 30 bucks. So I saved like 18 bucks. I think that's enough money to cover the rest of this trip. This is beautiful. <laughs> Thought about doing it. Stop myself. I'm going to Korea next month, anyways. Stop by for dinner at the oldest cafe in Panama City called Cafe Coca Cola. Um, it's endorsed by Coca Cola. So, Cafe Coca Cola definitely, you know, I pay, you paid, I paid 16 bucks for two entrees. You saw uh, food's pretty bland, in my opinion. So, I'll have to go back to Chilet at some point. Uh, I had a bunch of those fried plantains left over. I took it in a to-go box because I hate wasting food. But something cool happened. A homeless guy came out. I thought he was trying to sell me something or something, right? I don't know what he said. He's, he's pointed to my bag and he said he's hungry. And I was like, wow, that's so cool. Like, a homeless person, like, actually just straight up wants food. I, I, I don't see that in Seattle ever. They just want money. Well, obviously, I gave it to him. Because uh, I definitely wasn't planning on eating it anyways, but that's pretty dope if you ask me Next stop is Tantalo in Casco Viejo This is a botanical tea and honestly, it's the best tea I've ever had in my life This ceviche also the best ceviche I've ever had in my life. So flavorful The rooftop has a couple levels where you can get a view of downtown Panama City and also the surrounding areas of Casco Viejo. You can also see like the other rooftop bars in the neighborhood. Pretty cool.